Crooked frogs are abundant in Missouri, and stay out well into winter, making them high on a trout's menu. Here's the fly I used to imitate them. Start by mashing the barb of a Daiichi 1710 size 6 hook. This is a 2x long nymph hook. Put the hook in your vise. Go to some .020 lead free round wire. Make about 15 wraps. Position the wraps in the middle of the hook shank. Now load a bobbin with A dot, Vivis, and brown, or any natural color. Start your thread behind the eye and wrap back, and then use the thread to help securely position the wire in the middle of the hook shank, and then cut the tag end off. Wrap over the wire to really secure it. Now go to some crazy legs in olive and black flake. Strip four legs off free from the rest of the legs. And with one of the tips, make an overhand knot, making sure not to pull apart or break any of the rubber legs. Now, less than an inch down, make another overhand knot. This will give you one of the legs. Now cut at an angle making sure that one of the fingers of rubber legs is longer than the rest. You will need two of these, and you can tie them on both sides of the four leg section, and then cut them in half. With one of the legs, go ahead and tie it on the far side, with the longest finger sticking out the opposite way from you. You want the leg about a hook shank and a half longer past the bend of the hook. Now do the same but on the near side and with the finger pointing towards you. If you put enough pressure on the rubber legs, you should be able to splay them out very well without having to make a, a ball of dubbing behind them. This will also help with them catching, not catching on the barb. Now go to some guard hail chenille, chenille here in lichen, or lichen, I don't know how you say it. Strip off some fuzzies, exposing the core. Bring that core up and tie it at the back of the hook, just in front of the legs. Bring your thread up and start making touching wraps with the guard chenille up the body of the fly, making sure you push the fibers back and not trapping any of the fluff or the flash. This will help create a full body. It will nicely represent the meat of a frog. Once you get about two eyes back from the hook eye, go ahead and tie the chenille off. And go ahead and cut the rest off. Make sure the chenille is securely tied down. Kind of push out the fibers to make a flat body and whip finish your thread. Again, kind of push the flash and the fibers aside so that you get a flat body instead of a rounded body. It's not super necessary, but I just like the way it looks. Now go to some gel super glue. Put an ample clump around the hole behind the eye. Now go to a mini sculpin helmet here in olive to match the body and the legs. It helps to invert your hook and your vise, if you can. Now with the eyes pointing up or towards the point of the hook, go ahead and push it back onto the body, setting the glue. Now start your thread again in front of the helmet. Securely lock the helmet onto the hook and making sure it won't slip back over the eye. Really make a nice thread dam 
and then give it a couple whip finishes. Then go ahead and cut your thread off. Now for this next part, it helps to put a, some super glue aside, maybe in an empty hook canister. And a bobkin or a needle is helpful when applying glue. Now for both of the eye sockets, take a needle or bodkin with super glue on it and place a little clump on each eye socket. Then go to the eyes that came with the sculpin helmets, or just any fitting eye. And with a clean needle or bodkin, go ahead and place the eye on the needle and bring it over to your fly and carefully set it on the glue and place it in the eye socket. The needle is not absolutely necessary, but it does help and, make, and makes the tying process go a lot faster. Now do the same to the near side. The eyes will want to slip, just make sure you place them firmly in the eye socket. Now go to some UV Cure Resin, Cure Solar Res Thick Formula. Cover the whole sculpt and helmet, but just the top. Make sure to include the beginning thread wraps in both of the eyes. But don't crowd the eye or get any glue stuck in the eye, as this will render it ineffective when you're trying to tie it on. When you've got the glue to how you want it, go ahead and cure it. And that's it, that's the fly.